probably just shoot Daddy, from the bridge. Aren't the wheels working? Yeah. This is our second year at IJ Holton for our VEX Robotics program. Last year, we had a t two teams, Team A and Team B, which ended up doing very, very well over the season and ended up participating at the state tournament in St. Cloud. This year, we have, we have in increased our number of students that we were able to have participate. We have three teams this year and a total of 19 students. These teams were not divided based on skill or ability, but divided that we had a student of interest of someone that wanted to build, someone that wanted to design, someone that wanted to program, and someone that wanted to take care of engineering notebooks so that we were giving students options of what they're interested in and not just assigning them jobs that they didn't have the, the skills, ability, or interest in. So giving students choice to experience what they were hoping to experience. In order to participate in VEX, students need to look at the game that is presented each year. Based on that game, they have to problem solve, come up with a design following the rules and regulations of this year's games. There's different size components, there's different motor components. They have to take their different metal structure pieces as well as learn about mechanisms to put all these into a design which then they actually build and then they program that design and then they can test it out. A lot of students are able to then um, make some modifications based on what they learned about what worked, what didn't, and then they're able to move forward from there. So we're following the design process at all times when we're working with our VEX robots. Overall, at Holton, we try to make sure that we are uh, using a mentorship program, and then they will continue to be able to participate in robotics as they leave our building and participate over in Ellis. At IJ Holton, we are all about inquiry and problem solving and critical thinking in all areas. And it's really nice that the students have the opportunity to problem solve using critical thinking um, skills in order to really learn, practice, and apply those things. And students can take that information and they're able to then understand how that works so that we can apply that in a science classroom. I did this experiment, it didn't go well the first time, but I know that I can try that again, I can improve what went wrong, and hopefully I have better results the next time. Um, they can try that in a social studies project, they can try that in any area, and by really practicing these skills, hopefully we come out with some really strong really strong problem solvers and critical thinkers as we let them um, continue their education here at Austin Public Schools and through their entire education career, maybe it be in college and beyond.